What's up, Pomona? My name's Laura Jane Grace, and I'm entirely unprepared to be here right now. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Alright, for those of you who don't know me, I think it's important that we establish one thing. I'm not a fucking cop. This song is called, I'm Not a Cop.
This is going well. Hell yeah. I fucking love this venue. Let's all get a timeshare together. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. I'm rambling on the road, a siren in the night. All of the journeys of your skin is the noise plasticity. You made me want to smoke cigarettes, you made me want to drink whiskey. But even if your love was unconditional, even if your love Psychological trick I'm playing on Murder by Death. <laughs> I want them to think I'm more important than I actually am. <laughs> you gotta get in the head of the headliner, right? Everybody wants. What's that? Thank you very much. <laughs> oh shit. Feelings. I got a request that I gotta honor. This song goes out to Danny. This seems like a good, uh, appropriate time to play it. This is something called the friendship song. No problem. <laughs> No, we don't need no defense. Spoken out. 
This past February, I finished recording a new record. It's very exciting, um, and with vinyl delays being what they are, it should be out sometime like 2028, 2029. I look forward to you all listening to it then. Um, one of the advantages of doing the opening set is that you can play kind of whatever the fuck you want. So I'm going to take full advantage of that, and I'm going to play for you a new song. This song's called Tacos and Toast. San Marco, San Marco Boulevard, right? And uh, once a year, there's this church on San Marco that sets up like a thousand some odd white crosses, one to symbolize every abortion that happens in America every day. And when I was living there, I would have these overwhelming urges to veer off the road and drive through the fucking white crosses and get back on the road. And I didn't because I'm a fucking coward, but I did write this song. So this is a song not only about St. Augustine, it is very much a pro-choice song. <laughs> Yeah, look, the hair is tangled. Their minds are bound, we don't get 
So as I mentioned, I uh, used to live in Florida, but for the past decade, I have been stuck in fucking Chicago. And I don't know what fucking curse I gotta break to get the fuck out of there. Fuck Chicago, you say. Well, I got a song that relates to this sentiment. That's what I'm building up to. Anyways, no, 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 we're not going there. We're just going like, totally against the city. Um, but I do have a fucking axe to grind. So uh, this is a song about Chicago. I hate the city of Chicago. Man, this place feels like nowhere. And the traffic makes getting nowhere take that much longer. I hate the Cubs, the Sox, the Blackhawks, and the Bears, and the Bulls. I can give a shit about the pumpkin swims or Wilco. Learn how to make a pizza, you fucking Jaguars. Say hello back when someone says hello, you assholes. I hate O'Hare, I hate it way. I can't stand Chicago, although the best part is leaving. Cause maybe one day I'll never come back. A little bit of context in case you've never been to Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana is a toxic waste dump shithole of a city. If you are driving through Gary, Indiana, roll up the windows, turn off the air vents, and hold your breath until you're in the next town over, which would be Miller Beach, Indiana. Now, Miller Beach, Indiana, I truly do believe is fucking heaven on earth. Sand dunes, as far as the eye can see, the beautiful shores of Lake Michigan are sheet not. You can buy a three bedroom, two bath house there for like 50K. <laughs> When you're a young punk kid, property taxes do not matter, but when you're in your 40s, you start paying attention to that shit. And it is fucking gorgeous as long as you're looking to the east. But the second you look to the west, there's fucking Gary, Indiana, and there's fucking Chicago, where I cross the copy. This is actually just another divorce song. Maybe it's not all Coke County's fault, but it feels like another dog shit day in Sun City. Jesus motherfucking Christ, if you assholes at least learn how to drive. Fuck XRT and fuck a bunch of Lollapalooza Right fist and pitchfork fist too You know yourself, righteous hipster hooks can go to hell I especially hate Logan Square because I guarantee that is where each and every one of you hipster assholes would live For every reason that you would love it I can't stand Chicago moving on pushing myself to write songs and I was like I want to make a concerted effort here um, to write like a really positive uplifting optimistic song you know I just I don't want it to be like cynical or anything like that and I tried and I tried and I tried and then I wrote this song right and it fucking sucked so I threw that song away and then I wrote this really cynical song that is sure to alienate as many people as possible. And I was like, yeah, that's a fucking good song. So, this song is called Fuck You Just Because.
your friends, fuck your family. No, I don't need anyone. I don't need touch, I don't need love. I'm not an island, I'm a rabbit dog. Don't get too close or rip your face right off. Yeah, I've got an axe to grind I'm gonna get it extra shine I don't care what's on the table I'm gonna flip it every time Yeah, fuck you just because Fuck you with me and everyone Fuck your party, fuck your scene Fuck your friends, fuck your family
very much to Murder by Death for bringing me out and playing these shows. I fucking dearly love their band. I have been, had the pleasure of knowing them for like almost 20 fucking years now. Traveled all over the UK, fucking Australia. Somehow I think this is our actual first like US tour together, but we played a bunch of shows in the US like sporadically over the years. But truly fucking honored to be out with them right now. And I want to send this song out to them. see a motherfucker up on stage with an acoustic guitar, I'm like, oh fuck. This is gonna be a long fucking night. And then they're like, I'm gonna play for you some new songs. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ, kill me now. My back hurts, I wanna go home. I swear to you, I'll be, I'll be off the stage in like 10 minutes and murder by the will be up here fucking rocking your face. Was that a little too needy? <laughs> you would hate me in real life. Song's called Give Up the Ghost. Thank you. 